Surah 16. And Nahol. Context. Period of Revelation. The following internal evidence, shows that this surah was revealed during the last Meccan stage of prophethood. Number 1. Verse 41 clearly shows, that persecution had forced some Muslims to emigrate to Abyssinia, before the revelation of this surah. Number 2. It is evident from verse 106 that at that time, the persecution of the Muslims was at its height, and a problem had arisen where Muslims under persecution, were being forced to utter words of blasphemy. And number 3. Verse 112 and 114. Clearly refer to the end of a seven-year famine. That had struck Mecca some years after the beginning of prophethood. The central theme of this surah. All the topics of the surah revolve around different aspects of the message. For example refutation of polytheism. Shirk. Proof of monotheism. Tawheed and warning of the consequences of the rejection, opposition, or antagonism to the message. The Topics of Discussion The very first verse, gives a direct and strict warning to those who are rejecting the message outright. As if to say, God's decision has already been made, concerning your rejection of the message. Why are you then clamoring to hasten it? Why don't you make use of the respite, that is being given to you? This was exactly what the disbelievers of Mecca needed, at the time of the revelation of this surah. For they challenged the Prophet, over and over again, saying, Why don't you bring that with which you have been threatening us? For we have not only rejected your message, but have been openly opposing it for a long time. Such a challenge had become common amongst the disbelievers, against the prophethood of Muhammad. Immediately after this warning, they had been admonished to give up polytheism, which was the main obstacle in the way of the message. Therefore, the following topics are repeated in the surah. Number 1. The listener or reader, is asked to reflect on the plain signs in the universe, and within oneself, which provide very convincing proofs of monotheism. Number 2. The objections of the disbelievers are answered. Their arguments refuted, their doubts removed and their false pretexts exposed. Number 3. Warnings of the consequences of persistence. In false ways and opposition to the message. Number 4. The moral changes which the message aims to embed into human life, have been briefly presented in an appealing manner. The polytheists have been told that belief in God, which they also professed, should not be confined merely to lip service, but should take shape in one's moral and practical life. And finally, the Prophet and his companions have been comforted, and told about the attitude they should adopt, in the face of antagonism and persecution by the disbelievers. Surah 16. And Nahol. In the name of God, the most compassionate, the most merciful. The command of God is coming, so do not seek to hasten it. Exalted is he, and high above what they associate with him. He sends down the angels, with the inspiration, revelation, of his command, upon whom he wills, of his servants, telling them, warn that there is no deity, except me, so fear me. He created the heavens and the earth, in truth. High is he, above what they associate with him. He created the human, being from a sperm drop, then at once, he is a clear adversary. And the grazing livestock, he has created for you. In them is warmth and numerous benefits, and from them, you eat. And for you in them, is the enjoyment of beauty. When you bring them in for the evening, and when you send them out to pasture. And they carry your loads to a land, you could not have reached, except with difficulty to yourselves. Indeed your Lord is kind, and merciful. And he created the horses, mules, and donkeys for you to ride, and as adornment. And he creates, that which you do not know. And upon God is the direction of the right way. And among them, the various paths, are those deviating. And if he willed, he could have guided you all. It is he, who sends down rain from the sky, from it is drink, and from it is foliage 
in which you pasture animals. He causes to grow for you, thereby the crops, olives, palm trees, grapevines, and from all the fruits. Indeed in that, is a sign for a people who give thought. And he has subjected for you, the night, and day, and the sun, and moon, and the stars are subjected by his command. Indeed in that, are signs for a people who reason. And he has subjected, whatever he multiplied for you, on the earth, of varying colors. Indeed in that, is a sign for a people who remember. And it is he, who subjected the sea, for you to eat from it, tender meat, and to extract from it, ornaments, which you wear. And you see the ships, plowing through it, and he subjected it, that you may seek of his bounty, and perhaps you will be grateful. And he has cast into the earth, firmly set mountains, lest it shift with you, and made rivers and roads, that you may be guided. And landmarks, and by the stars, they are also guided. Then is he, who creates, like one who does not create. So, will you not be reminded? And if you should count the favors of God, you could not, enumerate them. Indeed God is forgiving, and merciful. And God knows, what you conceal, and what you declare. And those they invoke, other than God, create nothing, and they themselves are created. They are in fact, dead, not alive, and they do not perceive, when they will be resurrected. Your God is one God. But those who do not believe in the hereafter, their hearts are disapproving, and they are arrogant. Assuredly, God knows what they conceal, and what they declare. Indeed he does not like the arrogant. And when it is said to them, What has your Lord sent down? They say, Legends of the former peoples, that they may bear their own burdens, sins, in full, on the day of resurrection, and some of the burdens of those whom they misguide without, by lack of, knowledge. Surely, evil is that, which they bear. Those before them, had already plotted, but God came at, uprooted, their building, from the foundations, so the roof fell upon them, from above them, and the punishment came to them, from where they did not perceive. Then on the day of resurrection, he will disgrace them and say, Where are my partners, for whom you used to oppose, the believers? Those who were given knowledge, will say, Indeed disgrace, this day, and evil are upon the disbelievers, the ones whom the angels take in death, while wronging themselves, and who then, offer submission, saying, We were not doing any evil. But, yes, indeed God is knowing, of what you used to do. So enter the gates of hell, to abide eternally therein. And how wretched is the residence, of the arrogant! And it will be said to those, who feared God, What did your Lord send down? They will say, That which is good. For those who strive for excellence, in this world is good, and the home of the hereafter is better. And how excellent is the home of the righteous! Gardens of perpetual residence, which they will enter, beneath which rivers flow. They will have therein, whatever they wish. Thus does God reward the righteous, the ones whom the angels take in death. Being good and pure, the angels will say, Peace be upon you. Enter paradise for what you used to do. Do they, the disbelievers, await anything, except that the angels should come to them, or there comes, the command of your Lord, thus, did those do before them. And God wronged them not, but they had been wronging themselves. So they were struck by the evil consequences, of what they did, and were enveloped, by what they used to ridicule. And those who associate others with God, say, If God had willed, we would not have worshipped anything other than Him. Neither we, nor our fathers, nor would we have forbidden anything through other than Him. Thus did those do before them. So is there upon the messengers except the duty, to convey clearly? And we certainly sent into every nation, a messenger, saying, Worship God, and avoid Tagut, and among them, were those whom God guided, and among them, were those upon whom error was deservedly decreed. So proceed, travel, through the earth, and observe how was the end of the deniers.
even if you should strive for their guide and so Muhammad. Indeed God does not guide, those he sends astray, and they, will have no helpers. And they swear by God, their strongest oaths, that God will not resurrect one who dies. But yes, it is a true promise, binding upon him, but most of the people do not know. It is so, he will make clear to them, the truth of that wherein they differ. And so those who have disbelieved may know, that they were liars. Indeed our word to a thing, when we intend it, is but that we say to it. B. And it is. And those who emigrated for the cause of God, after they had been wronged, we will surely settle them. In this world in a good place, but the reward of the hereafter, is greater, if only they could know. They are those, who endured patiently, and upon their Lord relied. And we sent not before you, except men, to whom we revealed our message. So, ask the people of the message, former scriptures, if you do not know. We sent them with clear proofs, and written ordinances. And we revealed to you the message, the Quran, that you may make clear to the people, what was sent down to them, and that they might give thought. Then, do those who have planned evil deeds, feel secure? that God will not cause the earth to swallow them, or that the punishment will not come upon them, from where they do not perceive, or that he would not seize them, during their usual activity, and they could not frustrate, escape, from him, or that he would not seize them, gradually in a state of dread? But indeed your Lord is kind, and merciful, have they not considered, what things God has created? Their shadows incline to the right, and to the left, prostrating to God, while they, those creations, are humble. And to God prostrates, whatever is in the heavens, and whatever is on the earth, of creatures, and the angels as well, and they are not arrogant. They fear their Lord above them, and they do what they are commanded. And God has said, Do not take for yourselves two deities. He, God, is but one God, so fear only me. And to him belongs whatever is in the heavens and the earth. And to him, is due worship, constantly. Then is it, other than God that you fear? And whatever you have of favor, it is from God. Then when adversity touches you, to him, you cry for help. Then when he removes the adversity from you, at once, a party of you associates others with their Lord, so they will deny, what we have given them. Then enjoy yourselves, for you are going to know and they assign, to what they do not know, false deities, a portion of that, which we have provided them. By God, you will surely be questioned, about what you used to invent. And they attribute to God, daughters, exalted is he, and for them is what they desire, sons, and when one of them is informed of the birth of a female, his face becomes dark, and he suppresses grief. He hides himself from the people because of the ill of which he has been informed. Should he keep it in humiliation, or bury it in the ground? Surely, evil is what they decide. For those who do not believe in the hereafter, is the description, an attribute, of evil, and for God, is the highest attribute. And he is exalted in might, the wise. And if God were to impose blame, on the people for their wrongdoing, he would not have left upon it the earth, any creature, but he defers them for a specified term. And when their term has come, they will not remain behind an hour, nor will they precede it. And they attribute to God, that which they dislike, daughters, and their tongues assert, the lie, that they will have the best from him. Assuredly, they will have the fire, and they will be therein. Neglected by God, we did certainly send messengers to nations, before you, but Satan made their deeds, attractive to them. And he is there, the disbelievers, ally, today as well, and they will have a painful punishment. And we have not revealed to you the book O Muhammad, except for you to make clear to them, that wherein, they have differed, and as guidance, and mercy for a people who believe. And God has sent down rain from the sky, and given life thereby, to the earth after its lifelessness. Indeed in that, is a sign for a people who listen. And indeed for you, 
In grazing livestock is a lesson. We give you drink, from what is in their bellies, between excretion and blood, pure milk, palatable to drinkers. And from the fruits, of the palm trees and grapevines, you take intoxicant. And good provision, indeed in that, is a sign for a people who reason. And your Lord inspired to the bee, take for yourself among the mountains, houses, hives, and among the trees, and in that which they construct. Then eat from all the fruits, and follow the ways of your Lord, laid down for you. There emerges from their bellies, a drink, varying in colors, in which there is healing for people. Indeed in that, is a sign for a people who give thought. And God created you, then he will take you in death. And among you is he, who is reversed to the most decrepit old age, so that he will not know, after having had knowledge, a thing. Indeed God is knowing, and competent. And God has favored some of you, over others in provision. But those who were favored, given more, would not hand over their provision. To those whom their right hands possess, slaves, so they would be equal to them. Therein, then is it the favor of God, they reject? And God has made for you, from yourselves, mates, and has made for you, from your mates, sons and grandchildren, and has provided for you, from the good things. Then in falsehood do they believe, and in the favor of God they disbelieve? And they worship, besides God, that which does not possess for them. The power of provision from the heavens and the earth, at all, and in fact, they are unable. So do not assert similarities to God. Indeed God knows, and you do not know. God presents an example, a slave who is owned, and unable to do a thing, and he, to whom we have provided from us, good provision, so he spends from it secretly, and publicly. Can they be equal? Praise to God. But most of them do not know. And God presents an example of two men. One of them dumb, and unable to do a thing, while he is a burden to his guardian. Wherever he directs him, he brings no good. Is he equal, to one who commands justice, while he is on a straight path? And to God belongs the unseen aspects, of the heavens and the earth. And the command for the hour, is not but as a glance of the eye, or even nearer. Indeed God is over all things competent. And God has extracted you, from the wombs of your mothers, not knowing a thing, and he made for you, hearing, and vision, and hearts, intellect, that perhaps, you would be grateful. Do they not see the birds, controlled in the atmosphere of the sky? None holds them up, except God. Indeed in that, are signs for a people who believe. And God has made for you, from your homes, a place of rest, and made for you, from the hides of the animals, tents, which you find light on your day of travel, and your day of encampment, and from their wool, fur, and hair, is furnishing, and enjoyment, provision, for a time. And God has made for you, from that which he has created, shadows, shade, and has made for you from the mountains, shelters, and has made for you garments, which protect you from the heat, and garments, coats of mail, which protect you, from your enemy in battle. Thus, does he complete his favor upon you, that you might submit to him. But if they turn away O Muhammad, then only upon you, is the responsibility to convey clearly. They recognize the favor of God, then they deny it. And most of them are disbelievers. And mention the day, when we will resurrect from every nation a witness, their prophet. Then it will not be permitted, to the disbelievers, to apologize or make excuses, nor will they be asked to appease God. And when those who wrong, see the punishment, it will not be lightened for them, nor will they be reprieved. And when those who associated others with God, see their partners, they will say, Our Lord, these are our partners to you, whom we used to invoke, besides you. But they will throw at them, the statement, Indeed you are liars. And they will impart to God that day, their submission, and lost from them, is what they used to invent. Those who disbelieved, and prevented others from the way of God, we will increase them in punishment, 
over their punishment, for what corruption they were causing. And mention the day, when we will resurrect among every nation, a witness over them, from themselves, their prophet, and we will bring you O Muhammad, as a witness over these, your nation, and we have sent down to you the book, as clarification for all things, and as guidance and mercy, and good tidings for the Muslims. Indeed God orders justice, and best conduct, and giving to relatives, and forbids immorality, and bad conduct, and oppression. He admonishes you, that perhaps you will be reminded. And fulfill the covenant of God, when you have taken it O believers, and do not break oaths after their confirmation. While you have made God, over you, a security, witness, indeed God knows, what you do. And do not be like she, who untwisted her spun thread, after it was strong, by taking your oaths, as means of deceit between you, because one community is more plentiful, in number or wealth, than another community, God only tries you thereby. And He will surely make clear to you, on the day of resurrection, that, over which you used to differ. And if God had willed, He could have made you of one religion. But He causes to stray whom He wills, and guides whom He wills. And you will surely be questioned, about what you used to do. And do not take your oaths, as means of deceit between you. Lest a foot slip, after it was once firm, and you would taste evil in this world. For what people you prevented from the way of God. And you would have, in the hereafter, a great punishment. And do not exchange the covenant of God, for a small price. Indeed what is with God, is best for you, if only you could know. Whatever you have, will end. But what God has, is lasting. And we will surely give those who were patient, their reward according to the best of what they used to do. Whoever does righteousness, whether male or female, while he is a believer, we will surely cause him to live a good life, and we will surely give them their reward, in the hereafter, according to the best of what they used to do. So when you recite the Quran, first seek refuge in God from Satan, the expelled, from his mercy. Indeed there is for him, no authority over those who have believed, and rely upon their Lord, His authority is only over those, who take Him as an ally, and those who, through Him, associate others with God. And when we substitute a verse, in place of a verse, and God is most knowing of what He sends down, they say, You O Muhammad, are but an inventor of lies. But most of them do not know. Say O Muhammad, the pure spirit, Gabriel, has brought it down from your Lord, in truth, to make firm those who believe, and as guidance and good tidings, to the Muslims. And we certainly know that they say, it is only a human being who teaches him. The Prophet, the tongue of the one they refer to, is foreign, and this recitation, Quran, is in a clear Arabic language. Indeed those who do not believe, in the verses of God, God will not guide them and for them is a painful punishment. They only invent falsehood, who do not believe in the verses of God, and it is those, who are the liars. Whoever disbelieves in, denies, God, after his belief, except for one, who is forced to renounce his religion, while his heart is secure, in faith. But those, who willingly open their breasts to disbelief, upon them, is wrath from God, and for them, is a great punishment that is because, they preferred the worldly life, over the hereafter, and that God does not guide, the disbelieving people. Those are the ones, over whose hearts, and hearing, and vision, God has sealed. And it is those, who are the heedless. Assuredly, it is they, in the hereafter, who will be the losers. Then, indeed your Lord, to those who emigrated after they had been compelled, to renounce their religion and thereafter, fought, for the cause of God, and were patient, indeed your Lord, after that, is forgiving and merciful. On the day when every soul will come disputing, pleading, for itself, and every soul will be fully compensated, for what it did, and they will not be wronged, treated unjustly. And God presents an example, 
a city, Mecca, which was safe, and secure, its provision coming to it, in abundance from every location, but it denied the favors of God. So God made it taste, the envelopment of hunger and fear, for what they had been doing. And there had certainly come to them, a messenger from among themselves. But they denied him, so punishment overtook them, while they were wrongdoers. Then eat, of what God has provided for you, which is lawful and good. And be grateful for the favor of God, if it is indeed him, that you worship. He has only forbidden to you dead animals, blood, the flesh of swine, and that which has been dedicated, to other than God. But whoever is forced by necessity, neither desiring it, nor transgressing its limit, then indeed God is forgiving, and merciful. And do not say about what your tongues assert, of untruth, this is lawful, and this is unlawful, to invent falsehood about God. Indeed those who invent falsehood, about God, will not succeed. It is but a brief enjoyment, and they will have a painful punishment. And to those who are Jews, we have prohibited, that which we related to you before, and we did not wrong them, thereby, but they were wronging themselves. Then indeed your Lord, to those who have done wrong, out of ignorance, and then repent, after that, and correct themselves. Indeed your Lord, thereafter, is forgiving and merciful. Indeed Abraham, was a comprehensive leader, devoutly obedient to God, inclining toward truth. And he was not of those, who associate others with God. He was grateful for his favors. He, God, chose him, and guided him to a straight path. And we gave him good, in this world, and indeed in the hereafter, he will be among the righteous. Then we revealed to you O Muhammad, to follow the religion of Abraham, inclining toward truth, and he was not of those, who associate with God. The Sabbath was only appointed, for those who differed over it. And indeed your Lord, will judge between them on the day of resurrection, concerning that, over which they used to differ. Invite to the way of your Lord, with wisdom, and good admonition, and argue with them, in a way that is best. Indeed your Lord is most knowing, of who is straight from his way, and he is most knowing, of who is rightly guided. And if you punish an enemy O believers, punish with an equivalent, of that with which you are harmed. But if you are patient, it is better for those who are patient. And be patient O Muhammad, and your patience is not, but through God. And do not grieve over them, and do not be in distress, over what they conspire. Indeed God, is with those who fear Him, and those, who strive for excellence.